What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Macros Minecraft Mayhem, episode number 6,889. And before we begin, we got some new merch. Look at these hats. Bam. Beautiful. So anyways, you guys are telling me to try the new Minecraft update. So uh, let's give it a whirl. So apparently if you just go in here, go inside a cave, you'll end up activating a cutscene. Oh. No way. Oh, nope, I don't want to deal with the creeper. Wait a minute, where am I? Am I in the Smash universe now? That is tight. Cool, cool. Um, how do I get back? Does anybody know? Is it like a, is it like an input? In my video where I attempted to predict the next Smash Ultimate Fighter, I said this. And although Minecraft is on the Switch, they might just include Minecraft Steve as a sword fighter. And uh, yeah, I was wrong. And honestly, I'm glad I'm wrong because we have Minecraft Steve in Smash Ultimate, which is still insane to say. Minecraft Steve is kind of the main character of Minecraft, but since most people change their skins to whatever they want, he more represents Minecraft as a whole. If you haven't played the highest selling game of all time before, dig out of your underground cave and give it a try. There is a reason for its insane popularity. In Minecraft, all you do is, well, mine and craft to survive and eventually thrive and make full-on kingdoms or whatever the heck that is either way you create everything by mining all sorts of materials from dirt to iron to diamonds in minecraft you also fight enemies like creepers and zombies and you have to avoid the scary endermen but in smash you can play as all of them and the announcer will even say their names It's pretty dope. Steve comes to Smash in all of his blocky beauty. And although you can tell Sakurai Loki didn't want to make him, he did an incredible job. So now that you know a little bit about Steve, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Most of Steve's moves revolve around his tools. His jab is just him swinging his sword extremely quickly, and if you hold down the jab, he'll keep swinging. It can even trap enemies stunned by its sheer epicness. I gotta buy me one of these, hold up. His forward tilt is very similar and about as quick. Take note that most of Steve's attacks lack a lot of range. but they make up for it in frame data. His up tilt has him whipping out his axe, which is great for comboing and making people annoyed at you. His down tilt is the flint that traps enemies in a blocky PK fire type move. This can also be used at the ledge to gimp enemies. His dash attack quickly whips out the pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side for a decently fast approaching tool. His neutral air is just a swipe in the air, just like his jab. His up air has him continue using his axe, which of course is good for comboing as well. And his forward and back air have him swinging his pickaxe from side to side, side, side to side, and are both solid kill options. And by the way, his forward air, it's also a spike. His down air is the anvil, which will have Steve fall super fast and does a ton of damage, and is a really good kill option. Yeah. This move, however, will require iron, which I'll talk about later. Now let's talk about the smash attacks. His forward smash is a strong sword attack that can kill at pretty low percentages. His down smash has him pull out a bucket of lava, hitting both sides. Yeah. And his up smash places a magma block above him, which can hit multiple times and will hit anybody who touches it. So what are you waiting for? Swing that sword away- Oh, it broke. Well, have no fear. That's what the crafting table is for. Steve's neutral special on the ground is mine. You can mine for dirt, wood, stone, iron, gold, redstone, or even diamonds. And in some maps, you can even mine wool and ice. And these materials can be used to craft better swords and tools. The weapons from worst to best are wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond. 
These materials can also create blocks, which are made when you use neutral special in the air. They will stay for a short duration or until they're broken, and some blocks are stronger than others. These blocks can be used off stage, making recovering both easier and safer. They can also be used to extend your combos. Seriously though, I saw Eren do a 0 to 69% combo on Hungrybox's stream. First of all, nice. Second of all, it's crazy. Eren one stock away from top 8 with Solo Alex at the j- <gasps> These blocks can also block recoveries. But you have to constantly watch your materials, because a lot of moves, like the anvil, require iron and other types of materials. Your down special is the TNT. You can create a path and a trigger to explode it from a distance, or you can just kill yourself with it up close. If it's hit three times, or by a fire move, it will explode. Or just over time, it will go It's very strong and satisfying when it works. It does require redstone to use, so if you need to make a TNT, dig for that. His side special is the minecart, which requires iron to create. It's a fast and powerful move that acts like a projectile once you jump out of it, and can force enemies to be stuck in it until they mash out or die. It's one of your best approaching options, and it's also a helpful tool for recovering horizontally. The minecart can also trigger the TNT, which is an insane combo. It can even hit your enemies multiple times. It's, in my opinion, his best move. Steve's up special is him flying. I honestly didn't realize that you can even fly in Minecraft, so uh, that's news to me. It's kind of difficult to control at first, but once you have it down, it's a great recovery. Just don't point the wrong way. Ya noob? Steve can also fish for enemies with his tether grab. His up throw throws enemies in the air, and when combined with the block, it can even spike. And his down air is a solid combo starter at low percentages. His forward and back air are great for launching enemies away, giving you time to mine. So that's everything you can do as Steve, or Alex, or Enderman. Nothing really changes when you change the suits. Just remember to keep track of your resources and craft because your fists kinda suck. I've made over a thousand episodes of Macro's Minecraft Mayhem, and I'm a Minecraft expert, so you just gotta listen to these pro tips. Number one, whenever you have downtime in a fight, mine. Iron is super important, as two of your best moves need it. If you need to create space between you and your opponent, create block walls, or put a TNT near you, and just continue mining. Number two, you can move your crafting table by holding your shield and pressing B. So if someone is camping your table, just bring it closer to you. Number three, don't build a diamond sword when you're at a very high percentage. If you die, the diamond sword and tools, they go away. But if you don't craft them, they will be ready to use next stock. Make the smart economic decision and save your diamonds. Number four, some maps have higher outcomes of stone, wood, iron, etc. So Steve is actually better on maps like Pokemon Stadium 2 or Lilac Cruise. So in a tournament settings where some maps are allowed and some maps are not, Steve will actually have maps that he will fare better on purely based off of what he can mine. And that also means he'll have maps that he is not that good on. Pay attention to the map choices. Steve is the most hype character announced since probably Cloud, and while he can feel out of place, he definitely deserved to be here, and he doesn't disappoint at all. Hopefully his addition will help Smash Ultimate grow even bigger with new fans from Minecraft, but regardless, how is Steve for noobs? I would say he's hard to play. He has a lot of resource management and insane combo setups that will make him rewarding to play in the hands of an experienced player, but noobs will find him pretty difficult to use and get dubs with. But what do you think? Do you think Steve is easy to play? Do you think Steve is hard to play? Do you think he's kind of broken and needs nerves? Or he sucks and needs buffs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I gotta go look up some way to get out of this Smash world. I wanna get back to my Minecraft realm. So uh, I'll catch you later, ya noob.